Remember way back in the distant past of 2021 when Democrats and Joe Biden were spreading the divisive conspiracy theory that Republicans were bringing back literal Jim Crow to suppress black votes. Jim Crow 2.0 is about two insidious things, voter suppression and election subversion. It's no longer about who gets to vote, it's about making it harder to vote. This is Jim Crow on, on steroids. Jim Crow on steroids. I think the messaging is really talking about the existential threat that we have to voting. I think it's right on target because you are undermining the right of people to vote in a systemic way. It is an extraordinarily serious problem. It is a threat to our democracy. It's the gravest threat to our democracy since the Civil War. Our leaders need to act as if that's true. Early voting is happening across Georgia and we are already seeing record turnout. The Secretary of State's office says more than 140,000 Georgians had cast their vote either in person or by absentee ballot. In 2020, that number was over 136,000. In 2018, it was only 70,000. Governor George, Governor Brian Kemp says there's nothing Jim Crow about this law. Of course, the president himself said these feel like Jim Crow laws. What's your take on, on whether it is or isn't? Well, I say it is. I mean, and I did grow up under Jim Crow laws. One of the greatest assaults on democracy underway once again targeting minorities. The party of Trump intensifying its efforts to strip people of co color of their rights to vote. The boldest attempt since the era of Jim Crow. Jim Crow is making a comeback. The fictional black-faced character from minstrel shows who came to symbolize second-class citizenship for millions of Americans. Now, as hundreds of new proposals to scale back voter participation in elections make their way through state legislatures, the parallels with the past are inescapable. It is the first major election in Georgia under a restrictive new voting law, but that's not stopping record numbers of people from casting their ballots early. Oh my God, you cannot make this stuff up. They admit it's record voter turnout, but still describe it as restrictive. We're gonna dig into this blue and on conspiracy theory, but first give me just a minute to tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Hey. Did you know that silver prices are low right now? Investors are selling their holdings because of a turn down in demand. Once fears subside, we could see a surge in demand for silver as customers come back. As industries pick up after the pandemic supply chain issues, the trend down should reverse quickly and silver will rocket. Which is why it's a perfect time to get your silver IRA started right now. Give the team at Noble Gold a call and join thousands of others who have taken advantage of this blip in the market. They'll guide you through the process and make it easy for you. And this month, you'll get an incredible free three ounce silver American virtue coin with a qualified IRA of $20,000 or higher. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. Just remember, there is always a risk of loss and past performance is not indicative of future results. It is the first major election in Georgia under a restrictive new voting law, but that's not stopping record numbers of people from casting their ballots early. <laughs> After the endless drumbeat of these paranoid, racially divisive conspiracy theories, it was all bullshit. All of it. All of it. Despite this, the Democrats' favorite election denier, Stacey Abrams, won't let go and still insists that record voter turnout is just proof that she was right all along. But yesterday, we saw record turnout for early voting. Yes, we should be excited. But let's remember what that means. It does not mean that voter suppression doesn't exist. That's like saying that there are no more sharks in the water because more people get in. What? Wait a minute. Isn't that just an attack on the election system? Of course it is. But that's the problem with these folks. Everything they do is justified because they're saving democracy. Mr. President, I'll be honest. I'm scared. Millions of Americans are scared. They're concerned about the, the concerted attacks on democracy on on voting. My question to you, though, Mr. President, is can our democracy survive when the Republican Party is it only cares about power? <laughs> if the Democrats fail, it might be the end of American democracy. I think we're one election away from the end of American democracy. If they take over in 2022, 
That is the end of democracy, and we're going to have authoritarianism. I hope that we can flip this and save democracy. If we can't, I gotta, you know, I gotta believe that fascism will take over in America, and that will be the death of democracy. The potential death of democracy. The death of democracy. The death of democracy. The death of democracy as we know it. Saving democracy by turning our media into just the propaganda arm of the Democrat Party, the party that just happens to be in control of the country. Saving democracy by imprisoning your political opponents and slowly over time criminalizing one of America's two major political parties as a domestic threat. The Republican Party is basically a domestic terrorist cell at this point, and they should be treated as such. I don't know, sounds like a bunch of bullshit to justify authoritarian takeover of the country. Am I wrong here? Isn't this just election denial before there's an election? Just like Trump always does. All they're saying is that if Democrats don't win, then somehow the election was illegitimate. Just like they've done after every election loss since the year 2000. But this time, amplified times 10 by the never ending 24 seven drum beat that's drilled into the heads of millions of Americans that if their party, the Democrats don't win, then somehow democracy is now over. All right, folks, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed my rambling rant. If you did, please hit that like button, share this video, and leave a comment. Thanks a lot.